Good morning, everybody. My name is Santosh, and today I'm here to talk about our VIPs. Probably not the VIPs you're thinking of, but rather our visually impaired persons. So I want to start off today by sharing with you an experience I had. A few summers ago, I was in India, and I was at a train station, and I was waiting for my train. And I looked across to the platform across from me, and I saw a blind man walking. And he was feeling his way with the stick, but unfortunately, he could only feel the objects that were close to the ground, not those that were near his head. And there's a large steel bar hanging down right in front of him. Because he lacked sight, he ran into the bar, and it caused him a severe injury. But at the same time, it also hurt me on the inside, standing there helpless, unable to aid him in any way. This, effect, this affected me in a very profound way. And at that moment, uh, that moment, I decided I needed to do something about it. So that's why I'm here today. So let me start off by talking about the problem of blindness around the world. In the United States alone, over 21 and a half million people suffer from some form of visual impairment. Around the world, this problem only gets larger. Over 285 million people are visually impaired, and of them, almost 39 million are completely blind. Now, there's a few different causes for blindness. There is congenital blindness, which is blindness from birth, as well as acquired blindness, which sets on later in life. And amongst both these types, there are preventable forms and non-preventable forms. So what is the current situation that the blind face all around the world in their everyday lives? First is a lack of knowledge that a large portion of blindness is not only preventable, but also treatable. And there's limited access to medical treatment, especially in third world developing countries with less advanced healthcare systems. So there currently is some information available to help the blind, but the information that is available is scattered, and is scattered to the point where even sighted persons, such as you or me, would have trouble in locating it. So this information is not in a format that is navigable or readily accessible to the blind. So what are some current barriers to solutions right now? The single largest obstacle that a blind person faces in their life is that they're completely dependent on the help of others, not only to succeed, but simply to survive in our society. They're also unable to access information that is on the web or through books, except for Braille. Making this problem worse, around the world, a lot of the information that is available is in English. But in third world developing countries where English is not a predominant language, this language barrier is yet another obstacle that the blind are forced to suffer through in their everyday lives. In addition to the language barrier, a lot of the information that is available is too complex to be understood. And this can be either through a lack of knowledge or through a lack of literacy. So what is the ideal goal, the ideal situation that we're trying to get to? There's a few parts. The first is that the information should all be available in a format that is voice navigable by the blind or through tactile feedback in Braille. And all of this information should be in one unified place should give information about education, such as schools and colleges, as well as jobs, possible career paths, role models, and medical information, possible medical treatments, and availability of doctors. It should also serve as the hub for a system of volunteers and sponsors who are looking to make a significant difference in their communities. And lastly, it should promote eye donation and encourage research into emerging technologies that may one day cure blindness. So now that we've talked about what the ideal goal is, let's talk about how to get there. So one solution for this would be to create a comprehensive portal on the web. But we must do more. So we must create a mobile phone app to complement this web portal. And it would have a few parts. It should be very simple and easy to understand by any blind person. And it should be navigable either through voice commands or through tactile feedback in Braille. It should also be easily accessible to a blind person anywhere in the world, regardless of their location. 
and it can be navigable through tactile or voice feedback. It should also serve as the hub for this system of volunteers and sponsors who are looking to make a difference, and they can be matched up with the blind based on location, and it would be a very mutually beneficial relationship, helping both parties involved. So to this end, two summers ago when I was in India, my brother and I created an organization called Bright Future for Blind. And its goals are multiple. It is not only to provide the blind with all of the information that they will need, not only to survive, but also to succeed and to thrive in our society. And its goal is also to make a significant impact in all of the communities that it faces. So through this organization, here is my vision to help the blind. I'm creating a mobile phone app that would be a one-stop portal for all of the information that a blind person would need, not only to survive, but also to thrive in society with the equal chance that we do. It should be easily navigable by voice commands, so a blind person could navigate the menus of the app through, simple, uh, through simply talking to it, and the app will respond and read out the information that is stored in the phone back out loud to the blind person which would significantly, significantly reduce their dependence on the help of others. The app could also use the camera function of a smartphone so that a blind person can, for example, take a picture of a page out of a brochure or out of a book, and the app will convert this text to speech and read it back out loud to the blind person, as I'm doing in the picture. This is an amazing feature, and I believe it has the potential to immensely help the blind in a way that is just simply mind-blowing. Another problem the blind have in their everyday lives, because they lack sight, is in getting from one place to another. So if this app could combine GPS and compass data to allow a blind person to get from point A to point B in as safe in as efficient a manner as possible, it would go a long way to removing the obstacles that they face in their everyday lives. And continuing on the note of safety through navigation, the app should be able to recognize external devices, such as laser canes or mini sonars that can scan not only down, but also up. And this technology would significantly improve the lives of all the blind persons around the world, especially those, the millions, like the blind person that I told you about at this train station. And if a blind person, in the process of getting from one place to another, happens to misplace or lose their phone, I've seen them scrambling around, searching for their phones in vain. So if a blind person could simply say, where's my phone, or find my phone, and the app could recognize this command, and make, cause the phone to let out a noise, then the blind person, instead of having to scramble, will be able to reach out and pick it up and succeed once again. And lastly, if a blind person were ever in need of emergency help, if they were in any trouble whatsoever, the app could take location information and send it to the local emergency responders, such as 911, and as soon as 911 arrived, the app would give them valuable medical information, such as medical conditions, like diabetes, or possible medical treatments. And this would allow the emergency responders to tailor their care in a way that is very unique and very amazing. Now, I understand that it may be quite cost prohibitive for a large portion of the world to get their hands on a smartphone. So to this end, in the spirit of TED, I propose the creation of a donation program, where currently, when persons upgrade to new phones, such as an iPhone 5 or a Galaxy S3, they still retain their old phones, which remain quite functional. So if these people could donate their phones to an organization, and the organization could install this app on a phone and distribute it to the blind persons all over the world, free of cost, this would go a long way in giving the blind an equal chance in society that they deserve. So through this, I hope I have impressed upon you the magnitude of this problem and the simplicity of the solution. These people every day are struggling just to get through their lives in a way that most of us take for granted. 
These people may lack sight, but they more than make up for it with their vision. Because in the end, they truly are our VIPs. Not only our visually impaired persons, but also our very important persons. And we have a moral obligation, a moral duty to help them, to give them an equal chance in society, not only to survive, but also to succeed and thrive in the same way that all of us currently do. Thank you.